everybody, welcome to another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan. Today we're going to be talking all about how to add a basic uh, teleconferencing or video conferencing setup to your space. So recently, as we all know, most businesses have gone mostly, if not completely remote in some kind of aspect, um, which makes it more important to have quality teleconferencing and video conferencing available in your space. Um, unfortunately, most computer or mobile devices, uh, their cameras, their microphones, they're not great for video streaming and audio streaming. So it's more important for us to figure out uh, what can we do to, to help add um, audio quality and video quality to your meetings. So. Um, Basically, we don't have to necessarily include a lot of really complicated software and don't have to necessarily have really high-end, um, high-cost um, video or audio equipment, uh, but there are some ways that we can actually do uh, pretty great sounding audio systems at a pretty fair price. Um, so if you're looking to upgrade your uh, conferencing and meeting room um, teleconferencing and video conferencing but aren't real sure where to start, uh, we're here to help today. Uh, in this tech talk, we're going to kind of talk about what kinds of equipment you need, um, look at a few of the great products that we brought here, and kind of dis uh, discuss real quickly how to set them all up. So first, I guess it's important to know kind of what's the difference between video conferencing and teleconferencing. Um, teleconferencing is basically, um, you know, through your phone or an internet connection, uh, a way to basically uh, hold discussions um, between different types of people without necessarily seeing them. Uh, you know, basically that could be through a VoIP phone line, an old-fashioned POTS uh, analog phone line, uh, or through other softwares or having people call in. Um, but with teleconferencing as well, if there's people inside the room, it's always important to make sure we have good sounding speakers as well as good uh, useful microphones. Uh, video conferencing um, is basically teleconferencing but with uh, video, you know, whether that's a USB PTZ camera, uh, a fixed camera, uh, or even using the camera that's on a, a laptop. Um, you know, this basically gives us the ability to be able to see who's speaking as well through the internet as we all know. So basically we need to review what components are required for a, a video and teleconferencing system. So uh, the best video uh, conferencing systems also have some kind of camera um, introduced as well, whether it's a PTZ, uh, a pan, tilt, zoom camera uh, that basically gives you the ability to uh, focus in on uh, where your table is, who's talking, um, focusing in on the appropriate uh, people in the space. Uh, PTZ cameras are a great option for that, or we also have fixed cameras available as well. Um, or, you know, if you're on a budget and you're happy with the uh, performance of the video in your laptop, you can still use that, but we can introduce some additional audio components as well. So with some uh, video conferencing or teleconferencing, it's possible to actually just introduce a conference phone into the space. Uh, the idea is many conference phones from companies like uh, Yamaha, um, Unified Communications, um, which used to be Revo Labs and some other manufacturers, actually allow you just to uh, uh, plug in a device uh, via USB into your computer, and now you have built-in microphones inside the phone, as well as a built-in speaker to reproduce the far side of the phone. That's a really simple way that we can do things like that. So beyond the option of just adding a uh, conferencing phone uh, or speaker phone, uh, we also have the ability to add uh, USB extension microphones or conventional microphones with USB uh, interfaces, as well as in-ceiling speakers and amplifiers in order to make sure that people can be heard um, and that you can also hear what's going on, on the far side of your call. Uh, so what I have here is the uh, MXL AC44. It's a miniature USB uh, conference microphone. It's got a very small footprint, very small microphone, uh, and then basically has a, a USB cable. Uh, with this microphone, I can basically set this on the edge of a table, wire it back to a um, uh, laptop or PC that's hosting the meeting, and now instead of using the microphone on the, uh, you know, the screen of your uh, laptop, now we're using this microphone where we can position it wherever we need. We can tuck in the cable uh, wherever we want it to be. And now we have a uh, better uh, 180 degree uh, field microphone pickup uh, to, make, to where we can make sure that the people being heard um, are, are right there near the microphone. Uh, this plugs in to the USB port like I mentioned, and then basically you operate whatever software you have, whether it be you know, Zoom, uh, Cisco WebEx, uh, Microsoft Teams, any of those, and you basically just select your USB microphone as your new input source. Very simple, a great way to uh, make sure that uh, you've enhanced the audio quality of your meeting. Uh, 
Another option, rather than uh, going with something like that, like I mentioned, is we actually have uh, USB uh, preamps. This is the ART USB Dual Pre, which is a full-featured, high-quality, uh, two-channel um, preamp uh, designed to plug into, once again, the USB port on your laptop or PC. Uh, with the USB preamp, you can basically hook up your favorite um, microphone wired via XLR uh, and add that to your conference. So I could basically put this on a stand on a, a podium um, if it's a type of space where we know we need to reinforce the podium to make sure that uh, people can hear what's going on on the far side of the call. Uh, this could be a wireless microphone, a lavalier or a headset, or even a wireless handheld, uh, so that we can reinforce um, uh, high quality speech um, you know, for, for meetings um, with the guest speaker or anything like that. Or we can also plug in ceiling microphones into this preamp, which then once again connects via USB into our laptop uh, or uh, host PC. Um, in that case, once again, you just go into the uh, settings on your favorite, um, what's called a soft codec, uh, or your favorite conferencing software, and basically select uh, the USB preamp inputs as your sources. So now, once again, instead of having the uh, microphone pick up from the mic on your laptop, now it's being picked up by uh, the microphone on the stand, um, the microphones in the ceiling that are wired back to this preamp, that kind of thing. Uh, lots of other models of preamps with more inputs available as needed. Uh, so there's a lot of great stuff we can do uh, just by making some very basic infrastructure changes. Sometimes we also do need a little bit more sophisticated solution. Um, in that case, um, we might need some upgraded uh, acoustic echo cancellation or we might need beam tracking microphones that actually focus in on exactly who's speaking to cut down on some of the background noise uh, and things that cut down on feedback. Uh, we've got some higher end solutions along those lines that are also available for a more sophisticated uh, quality. You know, if you're gonna have hundreds of people in a room or that kind of thing from some of our manufacturers like uh, Yamaha Unified or uh, Biamp as well. One thing we can do to improve the audio quality inside of the room also is to take the audio output from the laptop or PC just out of the conventional 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack um, or line level output. Plug that into an amplifier and then with that amplifier hook up to ceiling speakers like our Pure Resonance Audio C3. We can use uh, some of our 2x2 arrays or we can use any of your favorite ceiling speakers or wall mount speakers to help reinforce the, uh, the far side of the meeting. Um, what's important, important to kind of take into consideration here is that in the setup I just described, if we've got ceiling microphones plugged into a USB preamp here, that's going to hook up to the computer so that uh, it picks up the audio from the people inside the room so it's heard on the far side of the call, the, per the people that aren't uh, in the room. It's not necessarily reinforcing through the actual amplifier, so you don't hear yourself through this microphone back through the room, uh, but the other people hear you. Uh, through the ceiling speaker and the amplifier, you'll hear um, the people on the remote side of the call back into the office. Uh, so just want to clarify that, but this is definitely a very simple, easy way that we can add uh, sound to our space um, without uh, spending a ton of money and uh, something that's simple to operate without needing a lot of complicated programming or tuning. If this all makes sense or you got questions or you might want to look at adding any of this type of hardware to your conferencing space for your teleconferencing or video conferencing needs, definitely uh, reach out to us, www.proacousticsusa.com.